Juris Vodcast with Scott Pierce. Barack Obama was elected president because he represented change. But Bush's Secretary of Defense, Robert Gates, kept his job when Obama took office. Bush-era generals Petraeus and McChrystal got promotions. Today the president announces a dramatic expansion of the war in Afghanistan. I oppose this escalation. It's a criminally insane aggression, supremely self-destructive to America. Think about the trillions of dollars we have spent on war. I imagine we could have made a lot of friends in the Islamic world had we chosen to spend that money wisely. Instead, we've murdered millions of innocent people and made homeless tens of millions more. Nothing good will come of this holocaust. Let's remember how this war started. Bush demanded that the Afghan government turn over bin Laden. The Afghans wanted to see some evidence. Bush and Blair both insisted they had compelling evidence of bin Laden's guilt for 9-11. But they never let anyone else see it. The president tells us that the enemies are the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. But look at who our friends are. Hamid Karzai and his drug-dealing allies are hopelessly corrupt and illegitimate. They're not worth one U.S. soldier's life or one U.S. dollar. The truth is that we are choosing to take sides in a civil war. Our presence on one side ensures that the other side will have the support of the Afghan people. That's why one thing you won't hear the president speak about is victory. Not today and not ever. Juris Vodcast is a production of Nuclear Podcasting. Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives.